We apologize for the technical difficulties, everybody. And Ben Johns didn't even give us a chance to interject here with a quick 6 nothing lead in game one for our men's singles championship Sunday matchup. That ATP from Federico Staxrude. It would have been criminal not to have that shot on. So what, a, what an introduction to this one. And Ben is sick and tired of us talking about how he hasn't made a final and won a singles. This is only the third event of the year, but he is here in the final, played brilliantly in the mixed final earlier, and is now Zero up 6 nothing against Staxrude, who has been incredibly consistent hitting his third straight final. That is the magical voice of Dave Fleming. I'm Michelle McMahon, and we are so thrilled to bring you the action here on Championship Sunday. It's been a thrilling start to the day. Waters with a 23rd Triple Crown in sight. Ben Johns, no Triple Crown opportunity for him. Not be a part of the men's doubles final. No, but the goats are goading today. Yep. Finesse touch for Stacks Root. Yeah, and Fed is a player. We talked a lot about how there can be long runs of points, and Fed's a guy that can win six, seven in a row. So he's seen that happen on the other side. We'll see if he has a response here. So Zero far six. this year, Fed lost to Frazier in the final, the first one, but then came back and got gold. So he has a gold in his pocket already in 2024. And he mentioned yesterday in an interview that it's a very similar start to his 2023 campaign when yes. he skyrocketed yes. to the top of the rankings. Feels really good about his game right now. Obviously, the results show for it. I'll recall. And uh, that's not his uh, synchronized swimming dance practice. <laughs> that's, uh, corners, he's saying, hey, there's uh, too you. many play people. One it's six. packed in here, but Usher just need to stop them so they're not moving during the play. Look at that paddle position. Ooh. Oh my goodness, Fed. Just stop it, Fed. Wow. Ben couldn't even track it down and he had a decent look on it and it's just, my angle is better than your Two angle, six. Ben. Sorry. Yeah, Fed, Fed just wants people to be not moving and I don't blame them just a little distraction especially your line of sight is through Two, the court Michelle so you don't want to see the color moving oh Fire. no <laughs> when Ben grits his teeth after winning a rally you don't want that to happen man he popped that up at Fed unable to finish Six, off an absolute sitter Ooh, denied. Not a let cord. I, I guess Fed was just waiting for the technical difficulties to end, and then he's going to come play his best because <laughs> yeah. the first. Oh, not on TV yet. <laughs> I know. The first, the first part of this was nothing like this, <laughs> and there he goes with that patented inside-out forehand. He loves to run around the backhand and find that angle. And again, your footwork has to be impeccable to hit Three that six. shot. You got to clear your body, and did he ever? Point. Beautiful passing shot to match it. Federico Staxrude climbing back in in game number one. He's beaten Ben Johns twice in his career. Yeah, he spoiled the 100th celebration he party. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, Ben's going to win a triple crown and everything. And then Fed came roaring back and beat him in Cincinnati. In three, too. Yes. 11-9, game three finish. And look at this within one now, as we talked about during the mixed final, if you were with Five, us. Six. Ben is not one to call a timeout on defense very often at all. Point. I don't know if six in a row is going to be it, but Fed's like, ready? Our cameras, cameras, we're in place now? Okay, let's play ball six straight. And I mentioned how streaky he is, and here's a perfect example of it. I mean, this guy, and there's also the idea of stacking these wins six, early, six. Michelle, so at the end of the year, can you be declared number oh, yeah. one in singles or not? And... Ben was sailing, and now there's a little frustration even coming out Wait. of Ben. So this is this is quite a turnaround. Seven six. Oh Sign man, out. who 
was there in plenty wow. of time, too. His movement is spectacular, both laterally and when he needs to have a burst of speed. That gut was ridiculous and then had a chance to just sort of Six, throw seven. this up in the air and get back into it, pushed it deep. Look at this guy, hustle. No wow. way. Oh my, the court coverage between both <laughs> these players. Are you not entertained? And that is one of Ben's favorite movies, so good call right there. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. Ernie Angles gets to the next one. Ben's too good, but uh, now the crowd is into this because we've had the better seed just jump out to huge leads here. Now we're at seven apiece, so much seven, more seven. nip and tuck, although it was six zip again to start this one. Side out. Dave mentioned the last meeting we've seen between these seven, two. It's been quite some time. It was in Cincinnati. That one going to three games, Fed stealing it. Seven, you hate seven. to call the timeout and then come out and miss your serve. You see the big difference in the men's game from the women's. These guys are flying forward on every return to take the net because they have the length to cover all of the angles. And they know if they give up the net, they will probably be behind and lose the rally. How good that shot is. And Fed's like, come on, give me a little something over here. I'm Federico Stacks Root, man. Uh, this next ball right here to be able to find pace and the angle narrowly Seven, over eight. the net. That's beautiful from Fed. Side out. Wow, just kept going to the backhand well and then went body at Ben and Ben was up to the task and got the thumbs up on the other side from Fed at the end of this. He's like, come on, go come Cover forehand, go cover forehand. How about body? Eight, seven. <laughs> he was there. Point. Wait. Once again, reminder, best two out of three here for singles on championship Sunday. the shot Fed hit earlier on the cat and mouse when they're both up at the kitchen and Ben, yeah, he just was beat cleanly here. Look at him jab one way, uh-oh. I mean, their styles Seven are nine. almost just mirror yes. images of each other. It's like watching that Spider-Man meme yes, exactly. pointing at each other. Good call. Side out. And don't think for a minute that Fed didn't model his game after Ben's because uh -huh. he absolutely did. Even in the way they hit the backhand, the placement of the offhand, the whole thing, it is it is indeed Spidey v. Spidey some of the time Nine here. Seven. Side out. Oh man, Fed was beat there and then he was flailing at it, just begging it to go wide and it did. Seven, nine. Side out. Oh, had it just barely missed. Yeah, ben and Jones. it didn't need to be good either. It uh, was plenty open court there. Just put it over there with just Nine, decent seven. pace and he'd have his eighth point. Oh, can't get to that one. 
Phenomenal first volley there from Fed. Fully stretched out to be able to make that. That's something special. Not a good swing there at all for Federico, but you got to just throw that away. No harm done, obviously. You can only score when you're serving. Nine, seven. Let replay. Nine, seven. It's Drew DeHennis calling it for us as the head referee here. And Ben got exactly what he wanted there. You don't see that volley missed very often, but indeed it did. So we've been hit a little stagnant point in this match Seven, here. Let's see if Fed can take advantage. Side out. He cannot. And he was in very good position there to win the cat and mouse showdown there, but uh, left the ball up and then Ben dictated. Return. And a game point over to the world number one, Ben Johns. 10 7. That's just pretty. Ben's trying to make that bounce in the kitchen so he can take some court. That one sails just a little too long and just beautiful from Fed. No chance for Ben to get there. 17. And a clutch moment, too, for Stocksrude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, comes away with it, swords it down on the backhand side. Yeah, and that rally for the higher level singles players out there, especially on the men's side, Fed chases his drives better than anybody. He doesn't sit back and wait to hit another ball off the ground, and then he gets in control of a rally out of nowhere. That is awesome singles pickleball right there. Side out. And that is not awesome singles pickleball right there. He wasn't able to put Game two point. together. He rushed it. He got a very short return. Game point number two to follow for Ben Johns. Oh, just, just waiting for the bus over there, Michelle. What's he doing? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> and then a little check of the feet and a little push out. I love that. That was awesome. Side out. Bench is not going to let you get momentum off that. He did earlier when he went on the six point run. Game point number three. 10 8. Point game 11 8, John. Ben Johns takes it. Stacksrud put up a good fight. The official ball of the PPA Tour. meetings fed won the first game and it was forced to a third Point. 
And that's that backhand. He just holds it out there, and you've seen him pull that heavy cross court. And then this one, he holds there and goes line and then just waits. A lot of players would one be zero. so proud of themselves for getting it there. His paddle's ready and just blocks it into the open court. So he hit that shot earlier, but guess where his feet were at the kitchen. That time he's back and trying that heavy angle. There is no way to make that shot from that position. You just run out of real estate. Three zero. Point. Hot so, start. Yeah, go ahead, please. No, I'm just going to say hot start again in game two. Yeah, so what this is what game one's beginning looked like. Ben just dictating everything in that very cold, controlled manner. I'm not giving you anything. I'm not going to give you a motion. I am just going to play at a high level. And now let's see if Fed can find a response like he did in game number one. Point. And you do not get extra Time points for hitting the guaranteed rates. Federico Stacksrud in dangerous territory against Ben Johns. Time in. Down a five game zero. and a five-point hole to climb out of. We know he can do it. We saw it in game one. We'll see if he can find some magic here. Point. Not going to happen yet. And uh, the worst what happened there was a fist pump by Ben Johns, which does not show a lot of emotion usually. So this dude is Six locked zero. in, and that's what happens. When Ben and Annalee lose, it's usually early. And Annalee talked about that. They lost in the quarterfinals last year in this tournament in mixed. Oh, my. Huge close and a roar to the crowd goes Ben Johns. You don't see that kind of emotion out of him often. No, we don't. And the pickleball doctor's giving it right back to him. There's my man, Noah. And uh, this is impressive. And that shows you how they do have the mirror images. But Ben is too good today with everything at the kitchen line. He's been fantastic. Time in, 7-0. Gold medal chance on the line for Ben Johns, four points away. Ooh, a little inside out trickery from Federico Stacksrud, the defending champ from this tournament a season ago. You know Ben Johns is fueled by that piece of motivation. No doubt, because last year I know most players would kill for this. He only won one title here last year. And an inside-out beauty from Federico Jackstrud came out of the break quite fiery on his side, and that urgency is understandable. Yeah, and you saw in the uh, first game, you know, roaring to the crowd himself, trying to get them to get behind it. Side out. Fed's tried to go body a couple of times, and I, I do like that play, but Ben has been up to the challenge. 7-1. Wow, and now he's stepping in two-handed backhands and pulling those onto the line. That is beautiful. It's something he's been, oh, okay, called wide. And so much for that. But he has been practicing that. That was really close. Ball's wide, well wide. Oh, and Fred is very mad about the paddle and the way the ball is coming off of that. Just uh, the paddle took a beating here. He is mad about the grip of the Seven ball on the paddle and bad paddle. Usually the paddle paddles the person. That is the reverse <laughs> here. Matching paddles on both sides. That's a couple of Yola players here. Big put away for Federico Staxford. Some of the... Players tell me their paddles are playing a little bit poppier with this heat when the paddle get, gets exposed to the heat. Yeah, it's sort of a 
dichotomy though because the ball plays slower mm -hmm. in the heat because it is not as hard Two, so seven. they have to adjust both ways with that can be harder to control apparently yep. is what the common That's, sentiment is that is for sure seven two Point. No timeouts, no challenges. No timeouts left for Federico Stacks. Really wanted to challenge that call. And you can't challenge. Ben is. Ben is. Winning team cannot challenge. Ben. Ben doesn't want to take this. Call, but you can't challenge it. No. Ben's going to overturn his call. He wanted. Ben wanted to be no sure there. Allowed. Winning team cannot challenge. So Fed is out of challenges because he has used both timeouts. So pretty clearly and, out. And Ben is Ben was like, "Hey, can we take a look at this? At least yeah. I'll challenge my call." But that is not allowed by the rules there. So let's go, players. Well, that ben. brief replay kind of showed a gap of it green. It did seem to be out from that. I agree. With you, ben Michelle. is a quite Eight generous two. line yes. caller, traditionally speaking. Yes. Of course, always a bit of human error, but. One of the better line callers. Side out. All right, so this is the time for Fed to get on one of those patented runs that he can definitely do. Two eight. Side out. Too heavy of an angle from Ben Johns. And just an amazing return. I mean, pace into the corner, but he doesn't out hit his movement, so Eight he's two. plenty comfortable at the last. Just great pickleball. Point. And when you're frustrated with your equipment, it is impossible to play at your highest level. And again, Fed had a little Nine conversation two. with that Yola paddle. Point. And there's that controlling it you talked about, and look where we are. Match Championship point. point. And John's Ten to claim two. his second gold medal of the day. Side Not yet, out. says Federer Axrude. That's just beautiful there, identifying that that's going to sail just a little deeper into the court and not letting that ball bounce. It certainly would have been in, but uh, Fed is terrific Two at ten. cutting off angles. Ben Johns making quick work out of Federico Stackstrud. He gets his first gold medal of 2024, but 34 golds for him on his career in singles anyway, 115 PPA titles on his career. He joins us now to talk about it, Ben. How good did this one feel to get out of the way over Federico Stackstrud? Uh, yeah, you know, Fed's a great player. Um, definitely has been very consistent. He always brings a very high level, so uh, I really enjoy our matches together. Uh, enjoy competing against him and uh, felt like I played a great match uh, very crisp not a lot of errors which is exactly what I wanted um, 
So yeah, I, I think this tournament, uh, I, I was feeling good all around and I'm looking forward to, uh, to playing more of that. <laughs> you showed a little emotion there in game two, up seven, nothing, ripped an overhead, turned to your bench and roared to the crowd. We don't see that too often out of you. What inspired that moment? No, you almost never see it, but uh, it has to feel right. You know, <laughs> it has to come out naturally. I can't force it. So uh, I think it was just a, a really exciting point for singles. Uh, I got a lot of adrenaline and uh, had to let some of it out. Two goals for you on the day, 115 on your career. What stands out about this championship round? Um, hmm. I, I feel like uh, it's definitely one of the best singles matches I've played, so uh, I think I'll, I'll remember this one. Bad news for the rest of the singles field on the men's side. Ben, congratulations. Let's now welcome in our title sponsor from Carvana, Blake Williams. Thank you guys for coming out to championship court today. Uh, on behalf of Carvana and the PPA Tour, I'd like to present this trophy to Ben Johns. Congratulations. Well, you earned it, Ben.